most activities move back and forth between short bursts of action and longer periods of slowness. The same thing happens with writing. We alternate bursts of action with periods of slower repose. That's why we need both short and long sentences. Short sentences for easy to understand ideas and longer sentences to dig in and work hard and go deep on a subject. And so we move like a pendulum, back and forth, from short sentences, which are easy to understand and offer quick, brisk pace and energy, to longer sentences, which require greater attention, but also reward the effort with greater information or insight. Your brain wants information and insights, stories and drama. In one moment, your brain wants bursts of action, riveting, dynamic, dramatic, and simple. These bursts of action are engaging. They don't take much effort to see and feel what's going on. Writers usually express these bursts in short sentences. But you also need to dig deeper, explore ideas more fully, with nuance and contingency, thinking and speculating and figuring out what it all means. Often, these more complex ideas benefit from longer sentences. Shorter, less challenging passages use less energy and cause less fatigue. Longer, more challenging passages use greater energy and cause greater fatigue. Whether to go with short or long sentences depends on how you want to relate ideas. Sometimes it makes sense to show a simple march of ideas or events, like stones on a walkway. Other times it makes sense to blend ideas together in a longer river of thought, with all kinds of complex ideas merging into the river like tributaries. Now, look at these two discussions of the coronavirus pandemic that began in 2020. Pause the video. Ask yourselves, what are the pros and cons of short versus long sentences? Now, it turns out that they both use the exact same number of words, but is one more effective than the other? Think of it this way. Short sentences are often like the setter on a volleyball team. They make possible the contributions of the other players. Let's go deeper, shall we? Take a look at this passage. Sentence lengths progress from one word to 18 words. As the sentences get longer, they actually perform different tasks. The longer the sentence, the more opportunity to express complex relationships. Pause the video to look at the passage line by line. Here's a couple quick takeaway lessons. First, longer sentences start to resemble paths with more interesting sights along the way. They might demand more attention, they might demand more work, but they offer greater rewards. Second, as you write longer sentences, you create hinge sentences that actually combine two or more separate thoughts in one sentence. When I first read Verlin Klinkenborg's book, Several Short Sentences About Writing, it seemed like a party trick. Watch me write lots of short sentences. But really, he shows something else. Take a look at this passage and tell me what you think. In this passage, Klinkenborg imagines the characters in classic stories having lives of their own. You see that Klinkenborg mixes short and long sentences. The top four sentences average seven and a half words. The bottom two sentences average 23 and a half words. The middle two sentences are between the two extremes, 13 and 12 words respectively. So what if we didn't have this variety? What if we made all sentences short or all sentences long? The average sentence length in this passage is just five words. 
So what impact does that have on the reader? Well, it's pleasing at first, but quickly feels herky-jerky, like water torture. Drip, drip, drip. Now what happens when you only use longer sentences? These sentences average 26 and a half words. It's a chore working your way through these sentences. Agree? It's like hacking through a dense forest with a machete. It takes a lot of effort, it's tiring, and you never really know where you are and where you're going. The moral of the story? Mix short and long. Use short sentences to describe action, to create a quick pace, and generate excitement. Use longer sentences to immerse yourself in the subject and make connections, some unlikely, from one event or one idea to another to another. Now it's your turn. Rewrite the following sentence to be a series of short sentences or medium sentences or a long sentence.